knew when I was five years old this is what I wanted to do. Do you remember first having that thought and why? Oh yes, uh, we were in, I was in first grade class and our principal came out and stopped our class and pulled out this old black and white television set and turned it on and said this is history about to start and you need to be, be present and witness this at the start of history about to be made. It was the Apollo 7 mission and it was the first of the, the manned missions to the moon. And I remember watching that and I already wanted to be a pilot and wanted to fly airplanes and looking at that rocket lifting off from the pad and heading off into the sky and thinking, boy, can I be a pilot and do that? And my, I remember my dad telling me, oh yeah, you can do both those. And after that it was just done. I, that was where I was headed. This match patch here was basically signifying the construction of the International Space Station. We had a small segment to put on, but it was important to allow us to move the truss work that goes on this particular mission out to, out to the end of the truss. Uh, also, we have on the corner there a, uh, this torch. It's the flame of knowledge, and it's, uh, it signifies education, that torch of uh, knowledge being passed from generation to generation in honor of uh, Krista McAuliffe, you know, who had gone up beforehand. Two minutes till launch. You were just in this hot seat about a month and a half ago, right? Yes. How how is it at this time? At this time, just relaxing. It's it's been busy for the last several months leading up to the launch, and really there's nothing to do but wait for the countdown at this point and hope the weather holds out. I uh, hope everything, all the systems come together and you get to go. Uh, at this point, honestly, I was probably asleep at 32 minutes prior to launch, uh, and my biggest concern was sleeping through the the communications check. Uh, Barb Morgan, our, our teacher in space, was sitting next to me, and I told Barb her primary mission during countdown was to slap me to make sure I was awake when my turn came for the count uh, for the communications check. That's a great story. That's the first time I heard that. Someone no. dozing off, right? <laughs> <laughs> Is that common or monkey guys? Uh, well, I remember one point looking up during our countdown, and uh, Barb Morgan and Dave Williams, who are both with me on the mid deck, were all asleep. So it was. It's one of things where you're you're excited, but you're also a little exhausted after after preparations. Plus you're sort of sitting back. You're yeah, laying you're, you're laying on your back. It's dimly lit. It's kind of quiet. It's, it's a good time just to, re, just to marshal your resources for the, the coming time because once we get to orbit, it's busy for us. It's very busy. We know we've got a lot of work to do.